Spoon! What? what the hell are they doing? Jesus. What are, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We want to start a chapter of the East Coast Avengers here in South Florida. Mom, what are you doing? I love Mark Jewelers. More comics, please. <sighs> Where's Ghost Avengers? Where's Ghost Avengers? Hi everybody, welcome back to the West Coast Avengers. My name is Dave. If you're just watching this show for the first time, I am a comic collector, a comic seller, and a comic hunter. What does a hunter of comics do? Well, much like Craven, he finds the most dangerous game and gets that game. I buy and sell and collect comics. You can find me every Wednesday right here on YouTube for West Coast Wednesday. That is my comic book auction and claim sale. Every Sunday, drop a video you're watching right now, and then Sunday evening, is Sunday sit down where I like to sit either talk about comics by myself or with a guest it's always a lot of fun quick introduction to this episode this is a typical Saturday for me going out hunting for comics at all different places today I went to a swap meet a thrift a palooza a, a meetup with somebody I found on offer up to buy something and one of my favorite stores in Tacoma Washington Destiny City Comics so without further ado Enjoy. So I found myself again at the Grays Harbor County Fairgrounds out in Elma, Washington. It's a nice relaxing drive on a Saturday morning, about 60 miles from Tacoma, just to look through some books. But unfortunately, it seemed that I was looking through the same books that I looked through the previous month. So I kind of made quick work of these boxes. I did not thoroughly go through them again. I came here on the basis that the gentleman who brought these books said he was going to be picking up more and he clearly didn't, which is fine. I asked him, you'll hear a little bit later in this video when I ask him, and he says, no. And, you know, this is the chances that I take when I drive out to go look at books. You win some, you lose some. You know, it's funny, I ended up taking out a bunch of books and making a little stack of $2 books that I was going to buy, and then I kind of looked at everything and I thought about it, and I was like, I don't really need any of this stuff. I'm being a little bit pickier these days about what I buy, and I think that's a good thing. You should never force yourself to buy books just to buy books. It's a weird thing that we do when we go to garage sales and flea markets. You didn't bring any new uh, comics this month? No. How you doing, fella? I'm good. Got to a good meal today. No, I ain't got it. 
I'm meeting this dude and picking up two Spider-Man metal blaster boxes. But first, Spider-Man metal boxes and their blaster boxes. Those will be ripped live, most likely on Spidey Hits YouTube channel. I'll put his link below. Uh, his Tuesday Marvel show is usually where I appear. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> you're good. Enjoy yourself. Hello. Fantastic. Here, you keep this one just in case you have to come Thank out. Thank you. So this was a nice find on that Saturday. I don't remember if I found it on Craigslist or on Facebook, but this was called Thrift A Palooza in downtown Tacoma at the convention center. And I did not know what to expect. I'd never heard of it before. I've never been there. There were several dealers with comics, some stuff was just kind of junky, like the comics you're about to see me look through right now. And some stuff was horribly overpriced. And there was a ton of clothing, vintage clothing, jewelry, paper goods, uh, toys, video games, a little bit of everything. It definitely had the vibe of a flea market, even if I didn't really find it to be as charming as a flea market, mostly because it was indoors. But that's the unfortunate thing about living in the Northwest. We are bound by the seasons, and once fall is over, it's usually rainy or gray and colder, so you can't have outdoor flea markets or garage sales, but we do have a ton of indoor markets during the holiday season and leading up to the holiday season, so this was uh, something of a nice little find for me. While walking around, I found this table that had a bunch of Star Wars stuff, and upon a little bit of an investigation, I found something from my favorite mascot of the West Coast Avengers. Jar Jar. Oh. <laughs> that was a political statement I was making. I am in for it. I'm, I'm always going to be Team Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take it. I'll relieve you of your Jar Jar. <laughs> Thank you. This is the table that I saw when I first walked into the venue, but I decided to save it for last because there was a ton of cool Marvel stuff, a bunch of vintage stuff, and I knew I was going to spend some money here. So just watch and see what I grab. <clears throat> How much here? Ten each. Ten each. I'm gonna take the super stand.
you do three for 20 on the marble cups? What's that? Would you do three for 20 on the marble cups? Take your time, look through it. If you come up with more than three, I'll see what I can do. Okay. But yeah, that's probably doable. Okay. your treasuries. And then the open one? The open one is 35. 35. Does it have all the pieces? Yes. It's 35? For the unopened one, yes. I'm not sure how this one got on there. Okay. I'll do 35 if you want. You don't have the poster of this, do you? Of that? Yeah. No, I've got uh, superpowers. No. Okay. You're into Marvel, right? I'm into both. I'm a huge Batman fan, but I'm very picky about my Batman stuff. Whereas, whereas Marvel, I'm not I as picky. Yeah. Okay. You know, but, um, yeah, I, before I brought it, I made, I made sure all the pieces. All right. I mean, I know. I, I see on OfferUp. So that's how I just realized who you were on OfferUp because I've seen that puzzle. You don't, I mean, I, I don't see it here, but you don't have this. Have you ever seen the Spawn, the Spawn uh, board game? I've never seen the board game, no. Okay. Figure so I got, I got the puzzle and one, two, three, four cups. 50 bucks. Sounds good. All right, well, some fun stuff here. No Tacoma Day would be complete without a visit to Destiny City Comics, owned by Ethan. Let's go talk to Ethan. Oh, okay. Destiny City Comics is one of my favorite stores in Tacoma and one of the most popular, so please do take a visit next time you're in town. You can find them on Instagram at Destiny City Comics and say hello to Ethan. Well, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Oh, it was kind of. The swap meet down in the Grays Harbor Fairground in Elma was kind of a bust. I was there last month where I found a Caliber Presents number one. The gentleman who had comics didn't bring anything new like he said he was going to, which is fine. So I walked out of there empty handed. I did look through some Blu-rays and DVDs to try and find certain Spider-Man DVD. After that, I met up with a guy that I'd been talking to off of Offer Up, and he sold me two of these Upper Deck Spider-Man Metal Blaster Boxes. I have not opened any of these yet, and I will most likely be doing so on Tuesday. You won't see this because it'll already have happened over on the YouTube channel Spidey Hits along with my buddy 9.9 .9 Newsstand. They usually have me on as a guest and I'll usually rip some stuff and have a lot of fun and talk about comics and cards. So the next stop was the Thrift of Palooza in the Tacoma Convention Center and I was just there a couple weeks ago myself for the Grit City Comic Con which was a lot of fun. So there was some comics to look through as you saw, nothing really interesting that I wanted, nothing that was priced in a way that I would buy it, but this is probably my favorite pickup of the day. 
obviously. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Misa 12 whole inches. Look, it was five bucks and it's Jar Jar. Love them or hate them. I don't really care because I love them. The coolest comic find were the cups and the Marvel Heroes Fantasy Jigsaw Puzzle. This is from 1988. I remember having this as a kid. I remember having the poster as a kid. This is an original puzzle. He said that all the pieces are there. He had a couple sealed ones, but I'm going to do the puzzle, so I might as well just buy one that's open. The same gentleman had the old 7-Eleven cups and stuff. I got the Jaws. Obviously, it's my favorite movie of all time, and it's the greatest movie of all time in this humble man's opinion. But the real find were the 7-Eleven Marvel cups. I got the Conan and the Spider-Man, which is probably going to sit on a shelf. And then I got the rare Super Stan, which is around a $100 value. So I should be able to sell this and basically pay for almost everything I bought today. But that's a really cool cup. I might buy some more from the guy. He gave me his card. He's local. He said he had some comics. So that's great. Finally, at Destiny City Comics, Ethan, who's a great store owner, a great person, and also an amateur professional wrestler, he's got a lot of back issues to dig through. I was just kind of looking through the X-Men. I saw this X-Men and I said, hmm, there's something about this issue. I think that it's a Mark Jeweler. I didn't open it up. It was two bucks. We're going to look right now. There's a chance that it's not because some of these X-Men had color ads in the middle. But if you're not familiar with Mark Jewelers, they were only made available via newsstands on military bases. Tacoma is situated just by one of the biggest military bases in the country. So we're gonna open it up right here for the first time and I'm gonna see if it's a Mark Jeweler or just an ad for some video games. My guess is it's a Mark Jeweler. And there you go, right there. A Mark Jeweler variant, Uncanny X-Men 228. I like to play this game where is it a Mark Jeweler's or is it not a Mark Jeweler's? That was it, that's my day. I was supposed to go look at a collection it didn't work out time-wise. That's okay. I'll go look at it in a couple of days. This is how I like to spend my, my Saturdays. I don't really need to go to brunch, even though I did go to brunch. But anyway, that's besides the point. Don't forget to smash the like button. Drop a comment down below. Was there anything you saw in the footage that you would have bought? Uh, and you can always drop a comment, and I'll tell you if, if there was a reason why I didn't buy it. Because sometimes you don't get to see the other parts of the footage where I ask the person how much it is, and I laugh at their prices every wednesday don't forget west coast wednesday if you're looking to buy anything from me but if not just join on sunday and enjoy we'll talk about comics don't forget keep digging on the west coast avengers fart sound right there stealing your life and creating comic content with it <laughs> What the hell was that? Some of you might ask, Dave, why are you like this? And no, I'll respond. The Riddlin didn't work as a kid. 